is up guys and in today's video we're going to be going over the new pack a bunch weapons within infinite warfare this is the second batch of weapons that have come into infinite warfare and now this is what they are going to make so when they get put into the game they get put into zombies and that means i get to play around with them and pack a bunch more on the maps and pack a bunch double pack a punch we do all that good stuff so first we're going to start with the vpr vpr is basically an mp5k on it's got 40 with 320 and that's how much ammo it carries. I don't know why it looks the way it is. It looks, with the mags on the side, it looks pretty horrendous, in my own opinion. Because it doesn't look that nice. Because it just, it's took the feel away of like the realism in the MP5K. But because that's gone, it doesn't feel that good, really, to be honest. The fire rate is ridiculously fast, to be honest. It feels like it's like a Scorpion Evo from Black Ops 2. It's ridiculously fast because when you use it, you lose ammo really, really fast. And I really hate this aspect that they've done with this gun because it takes the like the way of using it like loads of times because you have a favorite gun in the game. If you really like this gun, you're not gonna last much longer with the ammo in the gun. It's pretty shit to be honest. That is my personal opinion on the unpack a punch version of the gun. So let's go pack a punch yeah. So when you pack a punch this gun, you get the D Savage. And you get 40 again in your mag and 320 in the magazines like that, your reserves. And it pretty much is exactly the same thing. It's the same thing. It, it just deals more damage. The camera ray and the redwoods actually makes the gun brighten up. It still looks hideous the way the gun looks. It's just my personal opinion on the gun. I really do not like this gun because it looks terrible. It really does look fucking terrible. Ugh, come and right, I wanna just like, go through this. The um hip fire icon. Really don't like it. It looks like it's something from like Halo and it looks like it's something for like an NG side from that game and it really does not fit the like the game it's supposed to be in. I know they're trying to be creative Infinity Ward, but Infinity Ward stop doing this and it really takes it away. So let's just second let's double pack once it's gone to get this out of the way, because this is just the it makes me want to vomit. So when you put the gun back in the pack once that's back once you get the Cheya. I don't know why it's called the Cheya. It's, I don't know if it's like a name for someone Japanese or it's like an ancient like warrior or something. I really don't get it. But you get 80 in, well you get 16 in your mag and you get um, 400 in reserves to your gun. And this this is um, basically the reserves you get. It's got a lot more ammo than the original base version, the first pack a punch version of the gun. And it deals a lot, lot more kick. The fire rate is still ridiculous, to be honest. Because I really do not like the fire rate of the gun within the game. It's terrible because it's just too fast. And the camo from Raven the Redwood works on it. And camos do look pretty good on this gun. It's just the way the gun, it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. This, by the way, all these guns, the gun, the two guns I put in this video, they're all the best versions. No variants. And no attachments on the guns. It's just the base variants to, sh to show you guys what it actually looks like when you normally pack a punch in the game. And by the way, if you've got the gun unlocked, you ultimately get this within the zombie mode. So for the next gun, we have the X-Eon Assault Rifle. This gun is an assault rifle. It's a very fast firing assault rifle, for my own opinion. Because you can lose your ammo ridiculously fast on this gun. You get 332 and 288 clip and reserve. So that basically limit like you can kill a bunch of zombies, but you just gotta be careful your ammo in this gun. You wanna run like some some like um fit and fortune cans, like a max ammo one. You wanna run this type of stuff because this gun will run out of ammo ridiculously fast, especially in the high rounds. High rounds you need a lot of ammo. This this gun won't even last like fucking ten minutes. This gun will just be gone in an instant, it will you will never see that gun again. It, basically this is a terrible gun for high rounds. Because you're constantly losing ammo for this gun, because it's the fastest. It's the, I think it's one of the fastest firing assault rifles within the game. Maybe the fastest when you aim down sight. So let's pack a punch this gun. So when you pack a punch this gun, you get the butchinator. The butchinator is really not the name for the gun, because this game doesn't butcher zombies up at all. Because it's I get why they call it a butchinator because it butchers for zombies. On this one, it's the same 48, the 388 in reserves. So it's basically the same gun again. So this is what it's basically with all these guns. It's basically it's the same thing in, in with the reserves and in your clip when you pack a bunch of the gun when you first start. So it's pretty much the same thing. But I don't I get why they call it the budget. It's because it's fast firing. It could mow down zombies ridiculously fast. But when you're at round twenty, 
they you really, really doesn't butch down zombies unless you go for the headshots. The headshots really do get you those kills with a gun. It's got a very good headshot multiplier in my own personal opinion. That's only with double tap. So let's see what happens when we pack a punch this gun for the second time. So when you pack a punch this gun for its second time, it, it comes as stun panderous. I don't get it was called this, you had 48 in your clip and 432 in your reserve, so basically it's just a slight increase in your ammo, not that much, it's probably just doubled, it's basically just doubled it, uh, just under doubled at the um, clip amount you get and how much you get in your reserves, and I don't get why they call it the stuck Panorus, it was probably because when you pa when you use a gun in an ST, because it normally stuns the gun, STU actually stands for stun in video games, so you could just say this gun's crap, it's just gonna stun the zombies. Because if you, you can see by the game, but at round 22 with um, double tap, isn't that good as a weapon? Because it just doesn't mow them down. The headshots, it, they're getting weaker and weaker. It's not really having that headshot capability anymore. So it's basically a really terrible gun in my personal opinion. All these guns, like the new guns are right, really bad. They mow them down at the early rounds, then when they get later on, they start weakening. But at the 22, when it takes a full clip just to take a couple zombies down, it's pretty much pretty bad in my personal opinion because you want to kill some zombies, you want to kill zombies as quick as possible. But you kill them really quick, but it requires a lot of ammo. So this gun is absolutely a terrible gun. Probably not use at high rounds because it's not going to last that long. So I hope you guys really like this um, like little like guide on what the gun these guns are like. If you should use them on high rounds or shouldn't use them, and this is basically the second batch of weapons that they've added into Infinite Warfare. So I hope you guys really like. Remember to like, subscribe, do that good stuff. We will cover more batch of weapons in the near future. Remember as always, like, subscribe, do that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Good bye. All I wanna know is will you stand with me? I am a guardian, I am a legend, I am a champion, I am a weapon, I am the last known defender of humanity.